Montag lieben Klausen Globen. <lacht> Hey guys, guess what I have? I have a shark. Say hello, Mr. Shark. Did you know that sharks sing? Well, that's perfect for what we're gonna be talking about today because you know, we're talking about sound. So, we know that sound has high pitches and low pitches. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I should warn you that this is being videoed in the cat room. So, you might see some lions and tigers and servals and cheetahs. So, I'll try not to get eaten this time. Anywho, so, pitch. Yes, that's right, pitch. We have been talking about sound and how to change the pitch. And we know that pitches can be really high or really low. Yep, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I have this frog here. Do you think it's going to be a high pitch or a low pitch? I mean, he's a frog, right? You want to find out? Let's see. Oh, jeez, the bees. Oh, was that high or low? It was definitely high. Definitely high. Well, anyway, today we're going to be learning how to change the pitch on an instrument. But here's the problem, guys. We gotta make the instruments first, and we gotta figure out how to do that. So I wanted to give you some tips on how to do that, okay? So one thing we can use is a guitar pegboard. It's not really a guitar, but we're gonna make it into a guitar because we're awesome like that. So it had all these little holes on it. So let's see, what can I find? Mm, I got my nice handy apron here. Ooh! An eye bolt. Mm. How about a wing nut? Yeah, see that? It's called a wing nut. Because it has wings. Wee! And let's see. Maybe. Ah, oh, yes. I found something else. A washer. Wee! So we're going to use those three things. And of course, for a guitar, we need something like string. So maybe some fishing line, you know. So we'll try that. Well, anyway, we got to make this some way. So I am going to just pick a hole about right there. I'm going to put the eye bolt through it. And then I'm going to turn it around so that I have my eye bolt here. And I'm going to take this washer. Because what washers do is they hold something in place. So that's kind of important for us too. And then this wing nut goes on the bolt to hold the bolt in place. So, uh-oh. If it's going to cooperate, yes. So I'm just gonna, this little wing nut's gonna fly with his wings onto the bolt. Sometimes it's easier to turn the bolt too. And you wanna get it all the way on. Make it nice and tight. Here, shark, we need an interlude. Help me. All right. So now we have our eyeball attached. See? Right there. Yeah. See that? Pretty crafty. Yeah. You got that. Well, we're also going to need to attach our fishing line. Now, the way we're going to have to do that is 
your teacher is just going to give you some different fish in line. And did you know, this is a quick fact that's really cool. I have some more fish in line. Did you know that fish in line comes in different thicknesses? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Here's this one. And here's this one. They're not the same. Let's see if I can separate them a little more for you. There you go. Look at that. Yeah? This one's a lot thicker. So what do you think is going to happen with the pitch for this one? Is it going to be high or low? What do you think? Make a hypothesis. You'll have to find out. So since it's thicker, We'll have to figure out what you think, okay? And then, of course, we can also play with the length by moving the eye bolts back and forth. We can change the length of everything. And we can also play with the tension, and I'm going to show you how to do that, too. So you're going to have to tie this on here. Now, the way I'm going to do this, let's see, I'm on this row, so I'm going to go all the way down here. And I'm going to get to the very end. I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra string up here. And then I'm going to just tie it like I do a shoestring. Uh-oh. I messed up. I'm going to tie it like I do a shoestring. But then I'm also going to tie it in a knot, so I'm going to have to do it one more time. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to go up to my eye bolt right here. And I'm going to... It doesn't have to be very completely tight because you can always add some tension to it later. And I'm just going to tie it again too in a knot just like you would your shoestrings. But don't do a bow because that's not going to help you any. you got to do a knot. So kind of like when you double knot your shoestrings, you can do that. So now I have all this fishing line on here and it's all loose. Well look at what I can do. I can loosen that eye bolt a little bit and that wing nut and then I can just turn the eye bolt until I've got my fishing line tight. See how tight it is now? And then I can tighten my wing nut and looky there, I have a guitar. And I can make them different lengths, I can tighten it, I can loosen it, I can use different thicknesses. So that's the tension, the thickness, and the length. I can use all three in one experiment. Wow, that's a lot. You think you can handle it? Oh my gosh, I have so many questions. What's going to happen if I make the fishing line longer? Or what's going to happen if I make it shorter? What's going to happen if I use a thinner fishing line? What's going to happen if I use a thicker fishing line? What's going to happen if I tighten it? What's going to happen if I loosen it? Oh my goodness, I can change the pitch in so many ways. Oh, I'm melting the pitch. What am I going to do? Oh yeah, I could just try them all, couldn't I? I think I will. Do you want to try? Ask your teacher. See if she'll let you try it. Toodles.